Hi guys, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning and I've got a special video for you guys today. We're going to be taking a sort of an in-depth look at my book journals. Um, I've got some 2021 dated ones and some undated ones and after several conversations with fellow book lovers who are looking to get into journaling what they read whether it's in a paper planner or a digital planner like this one, I figured it was time that we take a look at this one. And then I'm also going to give you a special bonus look at how I've kind of set up the, the June section of my current book journal. Uh, we're going to be looking at this one in GoodNotes and I'm currently using mine in Noteshelf. So you're going to get to see it in both apps. So stay tuned to dig into this one. Okay guys, so this is my book journal. Uh, like I said, I've got an undated version and a dated version. I created this book journal mainly for how I um, want to track my books that I read because I read a ton of books, a ton. I mean, you guys, if you're following me on Instagram, you've seen my monthly spreads in my book journal for the past few months. Um, so you know how many books I read. So I created this book journal as a way to keep up with it. I still use Goodreads because that's connected to um, to my Kindle. So it's really easy to just like log my books in there. And it's just super easy to connect. Not really connect both my planner and my Kindle. But if I forget to log it in my planner, I can just pull up uh, Goodreads and check when I'm logged in there, I guess you could say. Okay, so let's dig into how this is set up. So both the undated version and the dated version come with this desktop style cover so you can add, you know, your own decorations. Obviously the dated one has a date here at the bottom and I've been asked if I'm going to do a 2022 version of this and yes I am. And so if you have bought the 2021 version, you will get a discount code sent to you um, if you or well if you want to if you want to get the 2022 version and you bought the 2021 version um, when it comes out they'll you know I'll release something like saying that it's launched and if you want the new version just reach out to me and you can get a discount code and right now the 2021 versions are on sale. Um, I think I currently have the sale running through the end of the month, but it'll probably go on longer because, I mean, we're just, I mean, we're halfway through 2021. It's just, it's crazy. So, anyways, these are discounted right now. The dated versions 2022 will come out soon. I say soon. It'll probably be um, October or something. Um, anyways, moving on. So, inside, you've got your your place to put your your name and all your details my details if you want links to stuff like that and then you've got a yearly page which you've got a tab here for yearly and then important dates is this and you can use this however you want if you want to track um either the books that you're reading in like a more condensed format which is how i'm using it um let's see I can go to that. So this is currently how I'm using this page. So like I said, you're getting to see this in both apps. This is Note Shelf, the one with the blue bar at the top because you can change that. Um, this is how I'm currently using the Important Dates page. I mark a, a book release on here if it's coming out so I can that I'm looking forward to. And then I just mark what I read on here. It's also marked on my monthly calendars, but this is just a fun way to see four months at a time. I mean, that's just fun. So 
there's a few pages of that to get you through the year, obviously. And then I've included a section of who to follow. So if there's certain authors that you're obsessed with, you, you know, you have a few, I'm sure. If you're getting a book journal like this, you have a few authors that you just want to follow. So, um, this is a good place to mark those down, put their Instagram handles. Um, I know there's several bookstagrammers out there that I know I personally follow. So maybe you want to put their information here so you don't forget. And then want to read. This is a section that you can obviously track the books that you want to read. You can add like a screenshot of the book covers, you know, like maybe a release date if it's upcoming or if you just want to keep track of it all here. This is a good place to do it. And then I've given you a template section. So you can take these pages and copy them and paste them anywhere in the planner that you want more room. Like let's say your want to read section is more than just this one page because you have so many books. You can take the lined page and copy it and put it in that section. Super easy. Um, let's take a look at these. So, ah, quit that. So we've got a blank page. And we've got this fun little photo page. So if you wanted to maybe, you know, add a book cover or like a memory page, something like that. Maybe you went to like a book event or something. This would be a fun page to, to use for something like that. You know, just stick your photos on there. Lined page. This is a uh, blank on one side, lined on the other. Then we've got a dot grid. And then this is blank and dot grid. And then this is kind of like, I don't know if you guys might like this or not, but I've created a couple of these. They're, um, I hope you can see this. Um, it's a collage page. It's kind of what I was going for. So maybe you want, um, I've seen plenty of people in readers groups on Facebook that create fun collages based on book series, whether it's like characters or just a series in general, like you could write your notes about the series here and then use these guidelines to kind of create your own little character collage or series collage or something like that. And I've got a couple different ones. They're, very, they're pretty similar, but you know, there are some little differences. You can add some text, some photos. Like I follow um, the twins, Krista and Becca Ricci, and they have great Pinterest boards that are, um, inspired the, like, you know, all their inspiration photos for their books or like photos that remind them of the worlds and the career, the characters they created. And so if you follow authors that do something like that, you know, you can pull in some of those photos and put them here, anything like that. And then I've also included up here at the top, there's these little tiny little tabs up here. These are just little bonus sections that you can use for whatever you want. Um, so these are just dividers and there's four of them. So, you know, one, two, three, and four. You can use these for whatever you want. Currently, to give you a, a suggestion, an idea, I'm currently using um, one of my sections for series notes. So if I want to keep up with, you know, like a certain series that I'm reading and maybe it's it's either finished or it's you know still evolving i might want to keep up some notes um so like here's an example page that i did this is the vampire huntress legend by la banks and so i just added all the covers here and so that i can you know just put them in order so that's just like um that's just an idea of how you can use that you know these sections maybe you want um uh, maybe one is your own inspiration photos, or maybe one is like just journaling, or maybe it's, I don't know, whatever you want to use it for. I gave you four little bonus sections. So you can do whatever you want. By the way, some of these stickers are from Lux Books, and uh, some of them are from a new uh, digital sticker kit that I'm currently working on. It's my book lovers um, kit, so it's not done. Look out for that hopefully soon. I swear I've just been playing around with that forever. I just need to finish it. Um, so, all right, let's dig into the monthly sections. We are in July, so I'm just going to click July here. So how this is set up is each of these tabs corresponds to a monthly page 
And like I said, this is a dated version. The undated version, um, you'll get just like a little box here for each of the dates. You can write your own dates. But how I've set this up is each of these dates correspond to a, um, a book review page. So if you click the date, it takes you to a book review page and you can add like the cover or photos or whatever, all your book information here, um, notes, maybe you write a book review, maybe you do a book blog or something like that. You could totally put your notes here and then, you know, it's, how I'm currently using this, so this is June, how I'm currently using it is I put the book cover on the day that I start reading it and then just use the highlighter to highlight where, you know, how long it takes me to read it, I guess you could say. And then I will go through and put the cover here and then go back and I collect quotes on my Kindle as I read and I just, um, there's a book journal video on here that I'll put a link in the description of how I export my notes from my Kindle and then I can just copy and paste them and put them in here. Um, so I've got some new book journal videos I need to get out to you guys, but you hear my birds outside. Um, but so this is how I'm currently using my monthly page. You can use it however you want, but the way it is designed is so that you can click on a date, and it takes you to a, a corresponding page. So it's really easy to, you know, like, oh, I read this book this day. I'm going to write about it here. So that's how you can use that. And then, you know, you get a little note section here. And then after the monthly pages, right behind it, I've created this page. So this is your monthly overview. So you've got reading goals for the month, notes. Then you can track your personal stats if you want. So like number of books read, pages read, favorite book of the month, favorite genre, favorite author, favorite quote of the month, and then just a little dot grid section so you can do whatever you want there. Um, but I thought this was a fun way to, to just, you know, kind of give you a little overview of what all you did. I mean, it's really fun to see, you know, your books for the month in a view like this. I really, really like that. Um, but like I said, I created this book journal for me and I was just kind of hoping that some of you out there would like it too. I mean, I think it's pretty fun. Um, I will be doing a 2022 version. Um, so like I said, it'll probably be October or something when that comes out, but I've got, um, a video that another section coming up where I'm going to show you how I go through and, get rid of all the extra pages. So once like this page is full and I'm done with the month, you can see, let's see. Oh, all right. I'm trying to do this around my tripod. You guys, let's see. Okay. So where I'm at. Okay. So June's here. As you can see, I'm behind on actually getting my notes in there. But what I do is once I have filled in my monthly calendar, like I'll do that during the month as I go along. And then at the end of the month, I'll go through and make sure I've got the cover on the corresponding pages. And then I just delete the extra pages in between. So like do that at the end of the month. Don't do it at the beginning or something like that. Wait till you're sure that you want to delete those pages. Cause once they're gone, they're gone. You cannot get them back. Um, but that's how I just clear up empty pages. Cause otherwise it would be all these empty pages. Like this is for the rest of the year, obviously. Um, and that's a challenge from a reader's group on Facebook, by the way, just added a blank page behind the monthly overview that's for July. So that's how I just kind of clean it up. And you can see, you can see how very behind I am on actually putting in my notes. I'm really good about the monthly pages, but then not so good about getting in like my notes. I save all my notes. There's like a whole folder in my email of all the exported Kindle notes, I just have not got them all in yet, but this is just, it's a, I think I personally really like having this book journal so that I can keep up with, oh, hit the button. So I can keep up with what I'll, all I read and I just really, really like it. And I definitely will be doing it again for the new year. And so as you can see, sometimes I decorate it. And make it kind of fun. And then other times it's just, it's just 
plain. So you can do whatever. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah. Oh, and what just happened? Okay. So one other tip about um, your page templates. If you're working in GoodNotes, you don't have to do anything for your page templates and you're fine. If you are working in NoteShelf, please watch my video where it's the comparison between GoodNotes and NoteShelf, the part three, to show how you have to deal with templates because currently the templates, let me show you in GoodNotes. Okay, oh, good. In GoodNotes, the page templates are at the end of the planner and NoteShelf works differently with how it uh, responds to page templates. So in NoteShelf, your page templates have to be moved up to the top of your planner. Um, if you're new to digital planning and you don't know what I mean when I say that, please watch that part three tutorial and I show you a way that you can do that because that's what I had to do whenever I was working in NoteShelf because NoteShelf reads linked pages differently. But these are the top two apps, GoodNotes and NoteShelf, in my opinion. Um, at some point, I'll look at, at Zoom Notes. I just haven't done that yet. But I hope you guys like this planner as much as I do. I really, really, really love using my book journal. Um, if you have any questions, if you're new to digital planning, um, if you're one of the people that discovered this in um, in one of the readers groups that I'm in on Facebook. And you have any questions, like maybe you saw a spread that I posted and you, you want to do this too, so you got this while it's on sale, because um, I know a few of you have. If you have any questions, you're new, you don't know how to do this, let me know. I'm happy to help you, you know. I got your back. So, all right, I'm going to show you a little time lapse of how I did my setup for June. And then I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.